Hey Tim. Tim, that's my car. That's my car. That's my car. Hey, there's a dog. Don't run it over. What? Watch that dog and uh. <laughs> All right, there goes my car. Ooh, I have some exciting news, y'all. I have officially decided to make a career change. I'm becoming a plumber. Why, you ask? Because they do things that take like 10 minutes and then uh, charge you a thousand dollars for it. I don't know why plumbing is so expensive, but it is. And it's a ripoff. No, I'm not actually becoming a plumber because I don't have a clue how to do this stuff. But I just did have a plumbing company come check out my sink that's been having uh, some leakage. And they want to charge me 260 bucks to like unscrew this and put a better little thing on better. And I ain't going to do that. No, that's just ridiculous. $260 for that. I'd rather drive to Lowe's, put on a YouTube video, and figure it out myself. So, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. So I think I need to take this off, buy a new one, put it back on, because apparently this one has been stripped, maybe? I don't know. That's just what old plumber man said, so we'll see. Honestly, I don't know. This plumbing stuff is a whole bunch of, man, I don't, I don't like this. Anyways, we'll figure this out. We'll make it work. Before I run to Lowe's, let's get a little test going. Ugh. Now we sit here and wait for it to leak. That's the old leak. Oh, oh yeah, look at it, look at it go. So just as I suspected, water coming out of uh, coming out of here, leaking down to here, pulling up here, and then dripping down there. Don't you hate it when you get completely dressed up in your Crocs? Start to head out the door and realize that you have a phone call. So I'm gonna have to run to Lowe's in the morning because I have a phone call with a company called Critio about floaties at some marketing, advertising platform for the open internet, according to the website. Um, retail media for brands, I don't know. I have a phone call with them at six, so gonna go over that, see what they can do to help us with our advertising stuff over at floaties. We'll see how it goes. exactly what I needed, but they had sort of what I needed. Got half of what I wanted, but not completely satisfied. I was hoping to get a new plastic thing to put on the uh, on the sink, but instead I had to settle for, uh, for some of this T plus two. It's like a little sealant thing, so I'm gonna put it on there, see if it can seal everything up, seal up the joints, and hopefully stop the leakage. But before I go any further, I've gotta get my receipt and update my budgeting app. So basically I just get my receipt, and after every time I purchase something, I enter it in right here. So enter the date, enter the item, pipe sealant, amount, 865, and category, business, submit. Boom. Now I'm done and it enters it all into a big spreadsheet. It's pretty dope. I like this a lot more because I used to use mint.com or the mint app and it does it all automatically for you, but it doesn't always categorize it right. It's like one end of the spectrum where it does everything for you, but not always accurate. And there's the other end of the spectrum where like I have it on an Excel spreadsheet that I used to do, and I go in at the end of each month or the end of each week and enter everything in. But that's super annoying because then you gotta remember to do it and go through all your expenses and it takes forever. This is kind of like a hybrid of the two. I go in and I enter it myself, but I have it on my phone so I can enter it in right away, right after. So it's super easy. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll drop a link or something to where you can download it. Let me know. I don't know, maybe no one's interested, but I think it's pretty cool. Good way to help you keep track of your expenses and save some money. All right, so I got that all on there. It was a lot thicker than I thought. It was more like a cement. The guy made it seem like it was like some like liquid little thing, but it reminded me of like putting mud on. But yeah, I got it on there. Not gonna let it sit for a couple minutes. If it works, celebrate. And if it doesn't work, 
I don't even know because I do not want to pay a plumber 260 bucks to do that little thing. Filling her up. All right, the moment of truth. So far, so good. Nothing yet. Oh, no leaks yet. Wow, I think it worked. That was the best $7 I ever spent. Wow. Now I'm gonna try just running it and seeing if it'll leak. Oh yeah. That's it, I'm becoming a plumber. Oh my god. I could not be happier. This was the best $7 ever. Literally, 260 bucks it would have cost me to do this if I wanted the plumber to do it. And it just took me literally one minute to rub this on there. Incredible, absolutely. I'm gonna call everyone I know and tell them the good news. Yellow, cost me seven dollars. Seven dollars, and then seven dollars. <sighs> what a time to be alive. Two hundred and sixty dollars minus the thirty-nine I spent to get the plumber out there, minus the seven, that equals forty-six dollars. Two hundred sixty minus forty-six equals two hundred and fourteen dollars, I believe if my math holds up. So I just saved 214 bucks just being a pure and simple plumber. not in the best shape. Holes and like, it's just not a flat even surface. Some holes up in there. Some more holes up in there. I also have this old like phone thing. I need to figure out what I need to do. I need to like, I need to cover this. But I need to figure out what I need to do with the wires so that there's no issues. And then I can't decide, this is like kind of slick. I think I might need to sand this a little bit. I'm gonna have to run to Lowe's first and get some stuff to fill in these holes. But I think I could also possibly just put the backsplash right over it and just cover the hole that way. I don't know. Very nice. Just uh, a cool 378 bucks at Home Depot. Did not expect it to be that much. We kind of ended up buying like 10 things that we didn't even know that we needed. We met this guy at Home Depot. Best employee ever. He, he is so nice. He basically walked us through like the whole JJ. process. Cause we don't know what we're doing at all. Nope. This is our first time doing this. Yeah, we're just kind of figuring out <clears throat> as we go. There was a lot of stuff that we didn't even know we needed. We wouldn't have got, we had to make other trips. But hopefully that 378 is all that we need to spend to get this kitchen finished. Yeah, oh. and we better not freaking take 20 trips to Home Depot this time. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, where's my thing? Here's okay. my thing. There's some big indentions Okay, here. where's my baby tomato? Here's my baby tomato. Let me see. So, now that I have my thing, Kylie has her thing, next we need to put some mud in here because it's not a flat surface and we need this to be even and Oh look, it's Tim. Tim! Tim! You, Tim! Tim. Yeah. yeah! Cool guy, cool guy. Tim! Tim. Tim! Tim! Cool guy, cool guy! Hey Tim! Tim! That's my car! That's my car! That's my car! Hey, there's a dog, don't run it over. What? Watch that dog and uh. <laughs> Alright. There goes my car. Bye. He's the thief. A thief, I say. Your butt is grass, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to put this mud on this wall and make this wall look like a good wall. I know, that's the point. I'm really cool. Oh. Ooh, look at the sauna. You know. What? A whale sperm. Oh my god. The Fajra. God, you idiot. Why did you just blob 10,000 things on there? Oh my gosh, it's so moist and slippery. Why <laughs> did you do the world's gloopiest scoop? I thought it would be thinner. Ew. Oh no, sir. I don't know what I'm doing. What is this? I don't have the answers for you right now. 
There's, this just doesn't seem to be right. How's it going? I don't know. I don't know. I use my hands. Oh no. This is our first project without like really having anyone's help. Like we've done small projects on our own, but any of the big projects we had, Kylie's parents help us, but we're adults. We're grown up, so we're just gonna do this on our own and hope for the best. So we'll see. We'll see how that looks when it hardens. Don't really know what to do with this. I do that. I don't know if it's hot or not. Don't touch it. I think it's dead. When Tim thinks he's slick taking your car, but then you realize that you gotta go to Lowe's and you don't have a car. <laughs> Second time today, what a day. Went to Lowe's now twice and Home Depot once. I'm telling y'all, it's my second home. Can't always get what you want. Made it to my second home. Realized since I'm in Tim's car, I don't have my mask. He's got this nice little mask here, but that's kind of gross to use someone else's mask. I feel like that's more germy than just not wearing a mask. So, I'm gonna put it on inside out. And now, now we're vibing. Oh yeah, I got the goods, in and out, just like that. Two minutes, not uh, anything but a G thing, I don't know. Got my little sheets for the drywall. I got my Twix for deliciousness. And got my, where'd it go? No. There it is, my receipt. Got my receipt for tax refund and uh, I don't know if you could hear it, but I just farted in Tim's car. That's what he gets for stealing my car. For now, before we uh, put this thing over, we gotta get these wires out. I don't know, hopefully it's not hot. Doesn't feel hot. I'm filming the wall. Why? Your skin pointed it directly at me. You look at me and said, <laughs> So I'm about to film my outro. I finish up doing the wall. So I point the camera at the wall, and Tim decides to stand directly in front of the wall that I just finished up. And then has the audacity to grab the camera and act like I'm trying to film him. Who's this guy think he is? He's already standing there. Anyways, that's the wall. It's all fixed up, ready to go. So hopefully. This will dry pretty soon, and then we can get started on the backsplash. But the backsplash will be a part of the video when we do our whole uh, kitchen from start to finish. Even though I lost some of the footage, I'm still gonna find a way to splice some things here and there together. So subscribe because we're doing the backsplash tomorrow. Gonna get this finished up very soon, and it's gonna be awesome. Thanks for watching. See y'all whenever I post next time.